you are now part of the Washington Nationals organization. You started in the minor league team in Georgia, but you know what, Jason? Congratulations, my man. You are now a Savannah Sun Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's the sand that? What? What's up, Seaport? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. Now, I just want to explain myself in this video about what the hell is a sand net. Now, the sand nets was a minor league baseball team that was originated in Savannah. And by the way, there aren't the Savannah sand nets anymore. They relocated to, I believe, a team in South Carolina and Columbia. They're called the uh, Fireflies now. So Savannah Sand Nets don't exist anymore. Now they're called the Savannah Bananas in Savannah. But originally the Savannah Sand Nets, they started initially in 1984 underneath the Savannah Cardinals. And what I want to say about that is the minor league teams actually have like affiliations now. For my baseball fans, maybe if you can clear this up for me, I'm not so sure if affiliations mean like are they sponsored by these major league baseball teams, but the Savannah Sand Nets were affiliated with the St. Louis Cardinals from 1984 to 1995, and in 1996, that's when the team changed its name to the Savannah Sand Nets, and it had another different affiliation. Now it was affiliated affiliated with the Los Angeles Dodgers from 1996 to 1997 for about a year and then their affiliations changed from Los Angeles Dodgers to the Texas Rangers until 1998 through 2002 and then they were affiliated with the Montreal Expos from 2003 to 2004 for a year and then they were affiliated with the Washington Nationals from 2005 until 2006 until they had their second longest affiliation with any major league baseball team the New York Mets um, from 2007 until 2015 and in 2015 that was the Savannah Sand Nets last year now I want to get more about like the classifications for the minor league baseball teams uh, you have triple a league you have the double a league you have the advanced a league you have the class a league you have the class a short term league and you have the rookie advanced league but savannah was underneath the class a league that's the single a league uh the south atlantic league to be exact and also in that league is the midwest league as well and just in case if you're wondering where the home games were located when they were playing in Savannah, their home games were playing in a stadium called Grayson Stadium. And Grayson Stadium is really in Daffin Park. That's a park on the east side. Uh, it's a big park. Uh, that park opened in 1927, and it really seats about 4,500 people in that uh, Daffin Park area. I mean, I haven't really been inside Grayson Stadium before. I, I haven't. I've never been to a, a Savannah Sand Nets game. Unfortunately, and the Savannah Sand Nets have won four titles back in 1993 and 1994, and another one in 1996. And their last title that they won in the South Atlantic League was in in 2013. But now they're not in that same league anymore. They're in a a Coastal Plain League, the CPL League. Also about that league. They have the championship round that's the Pettit Cup it's called the uh, Pettit Cup playoffs and it's been around since 1997 until now of course and that usually occurs around August the 10th the playoffs and the championship round usually is around August the 14th through the 16th but more about the Savannah Sand Nets that transferred over into the Savannah Bananas the first season started in 2016 where they won the championship that same year in the CPL West Division. They're in the Coastal Plain League West Division, by the way, where they won a game against Peninsula Pilots. And there's a good bit of baseball players that advance to the Major League of Baseball. There's a player by the name of Adrian Beltre. 
He was a third baseman for the L.A. Dodgers. He debuted in 1994 at the age of 19. Uh, he played for the Savannah Sand Nets, uh, but as far as him moving on from the Sand Nets, he played for the Los Angeles Dodgers from 1998 to 2004. Then he played for Seattle Mariners from 2005 to 2009. And then he played from the Boston Red Sox in 2010. And he still plays for the Texas Rangers as of 2011. And if you don't know him, Adrian Beltre, He's a four-time All-Star from 2010 through, 2000, through 2012 and 2014. Uh, he's a two-time Platinum Glove Award winner in 2011 and 2012. He's a five-time uh, Gold Glove Award winner in 2007, 2008, 2011, 2012, and 2016. And he's a four-time Fielding Bible Award winner in 2006, 2008, 2011, 2012. And he's a four-time Silver Silver Slugger Award winner in 2004, 2010, 2011, and 2014. And he was the NL Home Run Leader in, two, in 2004. And also, he was on the All-World Baseball Classic Team in 2006. And he was a uh, AL Hits Leader in 2013. There's another athlete that came from Savannah Sand Nets, an uh, athlete by the name of Travis Hafner. He played, he actually initially got drafted by the Texas Rangers, but then after that one year in 2002, he was traded to the Cleveland Indians from 2003 until 2012. And in his last year, he played in New York Yankees in 2013. And Travis Hafner, he was a designated hitter and first baseman. And like I said about the Texas Rangers, he was drafted in the 31st round of the 1996 Major League Baseball draft. Now, with his 12 years with the MLB League, he made over $66 million within 12 years. So, I mean, that's a lot of money. I mean, talking about some other people that made a lot of money. There's a man by the name of Ryan Zimmerman. He's a first baseman and third baseman for the Washington Nationals. Uh, he was drafted in the first round as the fourth overall pick in 2005. Uh, after being signed on the day that he was drafted, he was sent to the Savannah Sand Nets for assignment. Usually, uh, like baseball teams, not even baseball teams, but in the NFL and NBA teams, they'll send a player to like a, a minor league just to get better. And after being there for not too long, he quickly moved up to the Harrisburg Senators, uh, a, a double A affiliate. Like I said about the the leagues, they, he went to a, a double A league, minor league. Now more about Ryan Zimmerman, he's a 2009 All-Star. And also, he is a 2009 Gold Glove Award winner. And he also is a two-time Silver Slugger Award winner in 2009 and 2010. And talking about the money that he made, man, as of, I believe, February of 2012, he signed a six-year, $100 million extension that runs through 2019 and includes a 24 million club option for 2020. Now, with that money, he'll make $84 million from 2013 until 2018 at $14 million a year annually. You know, talking about baseball, that's one of the, well, actually the highest paying sport in the USA is baseball, not the world, but I mean, you're talking about baseball, that's a, a multi-billion dollar industry where people are making a lot of money, man, a lot of money. And another guy that came from the Savannah Sand Nets is a third baseman who actually was drafted by the Texas Rangers back in 2002. Uh, he spent all of the year 2000 with the Sand Nets, but this guy, he kind of floated on different teams. Uh, he went to the Charlotte Rangers of the Florida State League, and he then went to the Tulsa Drillers of the Texas League. And more about his 
Major League Baseball time with the Texas Rangers. He played for them for about seven years from 2002 through 2009. Then he played for the Tampa Bay Rays in 2010. But Hank Blaylock's best year was in 2003. We had a breakthrough year hitting 29 home runs and 90 RBIs with a .309 batting average. And also, he was a two-time All-Star in 2003 and 2004. So there were plenty of notable players that played from the Savannah Sand Nets into the Major League of Baseball. Uh, there, are a few, there are a few more names to this list. I didn't want to make the video too, too long. But, I mean, I always had an attraction for the Sand Nets and the logo. Like, uh, I had, like, plenty of Sand Nets hats back then, back when, like, the Sand Nets was, like, popping. And um, that's why, like, I, I kind of, like, adopted the Sand Nets logo because nobody was using it. The team transferred to Columbia, whereas the Fireflies, so... Is Savannah is the bananas now, so that logo is mine officially. Nobody else can use that. And I'm not too much familiar with baseball like that, even though I played it when I was younger. But I'm not too much familiar with baseball, like as far as the batting average and RBI. So if somebody would want, want to explain that to me in the comment section, uh, I'm reading all comics in this one. But that's all for right now. It's Pac Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. What's a sand at that local? Who cares? You're rich.